Hi, and welcome back to C Programming Skills using Replit. I'm Norman McIntyre. Let's get started. Here we're going to look at a new function, uh, a pre-written function called getchar, which allows us to get a character from the console. So let's start with our initial project, like we have many times, the one that says hello world. So when you click on run, just prints out hello world. Now, so far in the course, we've talked about you have to have the main function. The main function is where your code begins executing. We also talked about a print formatted function that allows you to display output. One thing we haven't done is seen how we can get input from the console. So I'm going to say printf press enter to continue. And notice I'm not going to put a new line there. And what I'm going to do is have an integer, oh, let's call it C. So we've declared a variable called C. And now I want to put something in that variable called C. And what I'll put in it, I'll call get char. So what get char does is waits for you to enter something from the keyboard on the console. And when it or reads it, then it will print it out. In fact, what we will do, well, actually, it just reads it in, but to show that we read something, let's do a printf, and we'll say C percent %i, we'll show it as an integer, backslash n, and um, print the value of C. Now remember, you should be following along. You want to do the same thing here. So I'll click on Run, and notice it says, Hello World. Press enter to continue. Now, depending on what time kind of keyboard you have, it'll either say enter or it'll say return, uh, but it's that, that big key on the right side of your keyboard. And if you press enter, notice it says to us when we press enter, it shows us the value of 10. Let me run that again. Let me say period slash main, press enter, uh, enter. So what this is telling us that when you press the enter key or the return key, depending on how it's labeled on your keyboard, what the computer sees is an integer value of 10. Now, let's do this again. Let's come over here and say we got the character once, and let's do a get char. Let's get it again, and we will print f. Let's just do the same thing again, percent %i for integer. So I have two get chars back to back. Let's see what happens. I click on run. It says press enter. I press enter. And notice when I press enter, we see that first C colon 10. But now it's waiting for me to press enter again. So I'll press enter again. And of course, in both, both cases, enter or return has the value of 10. Let's do it a little differently. I'll click on run. What happens if I press... A, B, C, so A, B, C, and then press enter. Interesting. So we get a 97, a 98, and then our program ends. Huh. I wonder if 97 might be A and 98 might be B. Let's do it again. Let's click on run. How about if I say 0, 1? and press enter. Ah, we see we get a 48, a 49. And so what we're finding out is that when you enter a character on the keyboard from the console, what the computer sees it is a, uh, a number. And in fact, these numbers, if you recall earlier, we talked about using the ASCII character set. And the ASCII character set, each character has a unique number. And as we've seen here, if I press, let's say, uh, capital A and press the enter key, we see that capital A is 65 and the enter key is the number 10. So these are, uh, again, we're, we're using this function, a built-in function, that allows us to get a single character. And when we get it, in this case, we display it on the screen. So for the first time ever, we've actually gotten input uh, by uh, 
allowing the user to press the keyboard before we continue on. And, and many times you'll do something like press enter to continue. So, you, so you've probably used programs like that where they go up to a point and they say, okay, to continue, click on OK, or if it's from the keyboard, press Enter. And so we see how we can do that now by using this get char. In fact, I'll go ahead and just have the single get char once again. Click on Stop, click on Run, press Enter to continue, I press Enter, and of course we continue on. So another, uh, another function that you've learned, in fact, as we go through this course, one of your skill sets is going to be to learn as many functions, as many pre-written functions as you can, because the more pre-written functions you know, then the more uh, productive you'll be in writing code. Here we know use print formatted to display things on the screen, and we've seen get char, which allows us to get a single character from the console. As you can imagine, there are many other functions but this one's a good start, get char to get a single character. So thank you for making it this far. We're making good progress here. There's still more to come in the next video. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks as always for watching.